guys? What is Gucci people? We are back with another podcast. Yes, we are. Yeah, that's awkward to say. <laughs> so today's topic is going to be talking about YouTube breakups. And luckily for us, one just happened, uh, I think it was yesterday. You know who Lance Stewart is, right? He's the person that does all this crazy prank on his grandma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't call him a YouTuber. He's a Facebooker, but okay. He, he's... He's a pretty Uggs. Um, his girlfriend's pretty Uggs. Not gonna lie, they were they're kind of a strange couple. Um, but I mean, I don't know. It's like he's known as a prankster, so I don't think people took it as seriously. And plus, I think when people cry in their breakup videos, it just. So they did make a breakup video. Yes. And that's what I hate about these breakups. They're like, oh, we're so sad. We don't want to be breaking up, and then. Six, six months later, they did want to break up, and they had some bad blood. So, yeah. I, I, yeah, that's the thing with YouTube breakups is like, why are you gonna fabricate it so much, bro? Just tell us, yeah, we broke up, we lost feelings, and that's it. Bye. <laughs> like, it's not that. It's, it's that simple. Exactly. Like with Damo and Christy, they were literally crying in the thing. They're like, we're, we love each other. We're gonna stay friends. How many months later, and they're like in a custody battle with their child. Yeah, and how how is first of all how is Chrissy gonna sit there crying whenever she was the one that was cheating and all this other stuff and like? Did you watch Domo's video? No. It was like an hour long. Of their breakup about, video? No, about oh. like just came out last week or maybe this week about all the crap that Chrissy did during the relationship and that her crying in the video was fake. Her doing this was fake. She's fake all around. And I'm like, That's whoa, a rip, Damo man. is shooting. Well, I mean, it's like, I, I don't know who's in the wrong or in the right in this situation. I really don't. Because, it, like, from my point of view, I don't know either of them. I haven't watched their videos, you know, stuff like that. It seems that Damo is, you know, she's a crazy ex. But she also was, like, so in love with this person. And this person betrayed them. And she, you know... It gets to the culture to where it's like, oh, everybody else, whenever they make breakup videos and the person moves on, we bash them. So I'm going to hop on the bag- bandwagon and I'm going to do it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really say anything about their thing because, again, I'm, like, confused. <laughs> I mean, I've known, like, I haven't known her, but I've been watching Domo for, like, however many years, since I was 11, from whenever she made, like, some, like, rap video nobody even knew her. And then, you know, I see her and Chrissy together and I'm... Right away, I'm thinking Chrissy has an attitude, and that's literally what Damo is saying that she's like just always miserable in a bad mood. But then whenever I saw her, and then I was thinking like you know okay Damo is in the right because she cheated whatever. But then Chrissy pops up with those text messages like where Damo keeps on switching plans on her, and mm-hmm. I was like okay well that's messed up of Damo. She's trying to see the kid. You're not letting her. But well, then the thing about text messages is that you can easily, you know, fabricate them and twist them and, you know, delete certain parts and leave certain other things in. Because, I mean, Damo's part, in her defense, she uploaded the text messages that were, like, Chrissy saying, F you, you know. Damo never said F you and, like, stuff like that. You know, she was never very, very aggressive and, like, hostile, but Chrissy was, like, snapping on her. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, when I saw Chrissy's messages, and I'm thinking, Dama's in the wrong, okay. But then when Dama comes on her video and says, those messages were after I'd repeatedly asked her, come see your child. Like, Dama was saying that, like, for, like, several days, like, she had told Chrissy, I've had him for four days. He wants to see you. Well, I want you to see him. So see him. And Chrissy doesn't want to do it. So, yeah, it's not really our business to say, I guess, but... I mean, okay, that's... That's another thing of where people post stuff online and then they expect people not to say anything back. And they expect people not to have opinions back. It's like you're posting it online for everybody to see and you don't want them to have an opinion on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that yeah. doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, like Domo, she did say in her video, she was like, this is your guys' business because we made it your business. Um, But she says after this, I'm not talking about it any but yeah. yeah, I don't really think it's like I mean, yeah, like they put it out there. That's all, that's like another like whole another topic to get into. But they put it out there, but still like there's like they're entertaining. It doesn't mean you gotta tell they gotta tell you everything. 
Yeah, understandable. But, yeah. but it's like, once you already choose to share the information, you can't go back. You can stop putting more information out there, but you can't be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, oh, uh, don't do this and this and this to the person. It's like, that's what's going to happen. You chose to put certain types of information online for everybody to judge the other person, everybody to judge you. So you have to expect what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, that's another thing about like YouTube breakups. Like if you're like, okay, I don't want to put this information out there, but if you fire, they're going to fire back and it's just like an ongoing cycle and really the information is never going to get out, never going to stop getting out. Yeah. Especially if your ex wants it to get out. Like Tanner and Taylor. Yeah, that's another thing. Tanner Fox. Too. I mean, I know you got a lot of feelings on that because you unsubscribed from him. So. <laughs> no, it's just, it's at the point, it's at the point, really. It was at the point for a long time, but it's really now at the point where it's like, dude, stop. Like, why are you still using her name? Why are you still doing all these, like, things, you know, like, clickbaiting people or, like, you know, all this other stuff? But it's like, just, are you, like, that broke? Are you that hungry for views? Because, like, you can see his views, man. They... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's <laughs> clickbait. It's for the views because he's just trying to stay relevant. He's like, people might still want to hop on this because, you know, they like drama. So I'm mm-hmm. going to hop on this, get some views. But Taylor, really, I don't think she cares about the her views because she's doing a lot of other things. She doesn't really perfume her own perfume. She's making money off of that. Yeah. And all Tanner really has is his views. Like, and that's not the only thing he's doing to, like, get views. He's now copying, who was it? Mr. Beast, doing the last uh, stay. That, too, but he also copied Jake Paul. Not that Jake Paul got any views from his. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. um, like, okay, so Jake posted a video. He was like, I'm going to prank Chad three times. I'm going to do this. And next day, Tanner had the same thing. I pranked my friend three times and gave him his dream car. I'm like, bro, <sighs> come on, Jesus. dog. I mean, okay. So, it's just him trying to stay relevant, and he really needs to stop. It's I like, think there's a difference, though, because, like, there's a very fine line between doing stuff to stay relevant and then doing stuff because you want. Like, me and you, we we see YouTubers' videos, and we're like, oh, that'd be so much fun to do, but then you got people like Tinder, they see that, and they're like, oh, that'll get a million views. You know what I'm saying? I think, like, a lot of people that are in the game now, like, of course, they probably started doing it for fun, but now they're like, I'm making all this money, I want to make more. They're seeing some six-year-old making $22 million a year, and they're like, oh, I need to get at his level. Yeah, but it's like, the six-year-old, first of all, the parents are definitely controlling the six-year-old. Of course. Yeah, and then, it's also, the six-year-old's having fun. You gotta look at that, man. That He's having fun. That's why he's doing, he's being so successful. For real, I'm, sh- I'm sure the kid doesn't even know how much money he's making because he's he's not actually making that himself. Yeah, he's but, only, what, seven? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All he knows is that, oh, my parents are buying these new toys for me. I get to play with them. Yeah. So what if my mom records me? Yeah. But, yeah. That's crazy. That kid's gonna grow up. You know, that's another topic. <laughs> Um, okay, YouTube breakups. Um, what was another one? What? Oh, Jake and Erica. Yeah, I feel like, also too, I feel like some people in the relationships, more of the girls rather than the guys, the girls aren't, like, ready to be in the, like, the, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that, and, like, even though Erica has her own channel and stuff, but I don't think she was ready to do that with Jake. Yeah, she started as his assistant. Yeah. So, like, you go from just working for, like, some, like, celebrity to, like, now dating them and being in all the videos and stuff. And cl- having to be in clickbait and dress in bathing suits and all this other, like, it's, it's too much. It's way too much. And especially with the, um, the whole family-friendly thing, that's mm-hmm. just a big strike right through it. Sure. But, and it's like, and I sense the love triangle going on there as well. Because, oh did boy. you see what Alyssa had said about Erica? It was on Hollywood Life or whatever that thing is. That they're not going to be friends or something? No, like, it was a video, and there was, like, a dead cockroach. And Alyssa goes, oh, that's, there's a, Erica's career. And, and, like, Erica said something back, but it was, like, talking about being the bigger person, blah, 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 blah. So I sense, like, a lot of drama in that thing, not necessarily towards the breakup, but who knows. Well, what was it? 
Alyssa and Erica were supposedly best friends while Alyssa was with Jake. And then once she left, Erica cut her off or something. Yeah, for, I'm assuming she probably cut her off because everybody in Team 10, once yeah. they leave, she cut them off. Yeah, that as, I don't agree with that. Bro, okay. <laughs> but moving on to another YouTube breakup. Who else has broken up? Um... Oh, Liza and David. Oh, See, yeah. that we can that talk about the that. Heart strings, that's, man. that's genuine, right there. Like you know, that was genuine. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I feel like they did that so that they could take their relationship to low key. You know, they could yeah. so they could start from square one and be like, okay, off camera, let's you know try to build this relationship. You know, and then once we're ready, we'll bring it back to light because. Um, some people were saying that Liza was losing out on stuff because she was with David and David, yeah. I mean, I, I would imagine Liza was yeah. the one keeping him grounded. So, oh, yeah, you know. But, yeah, I feel like, well, for one, like, obviously you're missing on opportunities because you, you're publicized a certain way. You're not, you're no longer a person, but you're a brand and you got to mm-hmm. uphold that brand. Mm-hmm. And so if somebody is like counteracting that that's like gonna be an issue in your career but i also feel like being in the spotlight you're um you're held to higher standards expectations yeah. you get so much pressure on your relationship mm. that you know see i don't i think with liza and david though it's like they were such genuine people and i feel like they have really good fans and like i know there's a lot of people that actually wanted them together so i don't know if like they necessarily got as much pressure with that you know with like fans doing crazy stuff maybe just like fit in edits cringy crap but yeah probably but you always got your like you are you're always gonna have haters and like mm-hmm. stuff that's gonna want to crush you no matter what or you might have crazy fans they're like i'm gonna kill you if you date her yeah i i definitely feel like Liza would be the type to like really get affected by that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know her personally. I have never watched a video from her besides the breakup video, but like you know, compilations of her puns in the stores and stuff like that. And it just seems like she's way more emotionally attached to everything she does. You know. That kind of person is just not gonna like be able to like stand up to people that are like yeah sending death threats or this or that because of like what she does. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's understandable. I just feel bad, man. That breakup video was like so different, bro. It's like, <laughs> ah, it hurt my heart, and I didn't even know them. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Before we like stop talking about this stuff, like. Never another thing, like, have you realized that every single YouTube breakup, they've done the video together, but Tanner and Taylor didn't? Conspiracy theory. <laughs> no, but, um... But, I mean, yeah. so that... Wait, did it? No. That kind of reveals that they did have bad blood because they did two separate videos. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of who else didn't... Who else did... Well, Dumb and Christy did theirs together, but I guess... That was bad blood, too. Well, it wasn't originally supposed to be, I don't think. Because Damo is like, she, like... Oh, I'm sure she wanted to out Chrissy the minute she could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she said, well, she actually said she didn't really want people to, like, think bad about her because she sees the best in people. She didn't want people to be, like, hating on Chrissy. That's but, bull crap. Yeah, She's that's, gone way too far to stay there. <laughs> that's, um, who else? Jesse and Gina, they were together. The boyfriend versus girlfriend. Pranksters, they were together. Liza and David were together. Oh, you know, um, out of the sidemen, Bazinga? Ethan? No. I only watched one video of this. Of, um, he was supposed to fight Nick Crompton. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, he's, by the way, congrats to Ethan. He is super fit. I think he just posted on Twitter, he said he lost 30 kilos. Which, How much that is? I think it's like 60 pounds or over. Yeah. So yeah, congrats to him, but um, him and his girlfriend just broke up. And I know they've been going strong for a, a little minute, which, you know, that kind of hurts. But mm-hmm. they didn't post a video or anything, but they both did tweet something. Mm-hmm. Um, it seemed civil. I, I personally don't think they're the type 
Well, I don't really know. I think her name's Emily. I don't really know her, but Ethan doesn't seem like the type to, like, be yeah. vicious. So, uh, that's another YouTube break. Oh, Logan Paul and Chloe. I didn't really care, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I didn't... Yeah, they, like, they were in the spotlight for just, like, a little bit with their relationship. And, and then KSI sudden... shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, K- Logan was still, like, hurt over it because he keeps on bringing it up. Chloe yeah. hasn't been acknowledging anything, but, yeah, Logan has made, like, on his podcast to, when he's talking about Jacob, talking with Jacob, he was talking about Chloe, not, like, specifically Chloe, but his ro- past relationship, and then somebody else on his podcast. Deji. It was definitely Deji. Probably him, too, but, yeah, then another person. Somebody recently. Have, I think he, he had Josh Peck, Bran- he, Brandon Schwab or something. He has some random people. Somebody named Lee Howard or something like that yeah, today. I Maybe I'm I don't, I don't, I only watched the Deji one. And then I watched the clip. I watched the clip of the Jacob one where he was talking about it. It's like, I don't know. Lewis Howes. Whoever that is. I mean, personally, at the UK press conference, I don't think Logan should have got butt hurt. I, I really don't. Because he knew what he was getting into. It was JJ and Deji's territory. Of course the fans were going to be on their side. In the, the USA press conference, the fans were all... Goo Gaga over freaking Logan and Jake. Well, if you're talking about, you know, what he said about Chloe, I don't, like, no matter what the situation was, he knew he was getting, he knew he was getting someone into a boxing fight, but no matter what situation it is, I mean, you don't want people talking about your family, that's stuff that you don't want to talk about. Yeah. Family, friends, you, significant others, you do not say that stuff. Like how you were defending what's-his-face whenever Deji was talking about his wife. That's the same thing. Yeah, but... The thing is, with a press conference and with a boxing a fight, you know, it it goes to those things. Everyone knows it. And, you know, Conor McGregor does it all the time. You know, big names like that do it all the time. It's sure it's fake, but it still happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, it, it still doesn't make it right. That you well, no, of course it doesn't, but it's bound to happen. You know, you you can't be totally surprised, especially by the way. JJ has acted. You know, the whole time leading up to the fight, he was making fun of Logan, making fun of Logan. Logan, you put stuff in the spotlight, it's gonna get backlash from it. You know, like, you're, you can't expect people to stay quiet about your mistakes. Like, Logan did the same thing to JJ. He brought up, he brought up him harassing girls and stuff like that. Issues from, what, like, 2014, 2013? He brought them up. So, JJ's gonna bring up fucking Chloe. Like, I mean, it's not right. It, I, I don't think it should have went there. Did it make things interesting? Yes. <laughs> it made things very interesting. I Did enjoyed it... watching them guide each other's threats. What? I enjoyed watching them guide each other's threats. Th- that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean. This is banding in a Walmart. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it makes things interesting. I mean, they shook hands after the fight anyway. Logan just shut up about it, really, to be honest. Like, it, it's so old now. You know, like, mm-hmm. you, you, you drew, be quiet about it, move on with well, your life. Well, they can't be quiet about it when, in, like, less than a month, they're fighting again. Well, actually, no. Nothing about his case, I won't do it. Yeah, I don't know what his plans are. Because he's going on tour this year with Randolph, I believe. He announced. He was, for what? His music? He's a YouTube artist. Dax goes on tours and crap. Dax is in, Dax is a natural YouTube artist. Kids, I know. Yes, YouTube. he is. You post on YouTube. You are a YouTube rapper. He does different stuff on YouTube. He is a YouTube rapper, just like Quadeca. He is a YouTube rapper. Yes. Bilu, he's a YouTube rapper. Who else? Oh, not any of those people. Gold what? Juice, what's his name? Will got the juice. He is a YouTube rapper. Who else? I'm Dante. He is a YouTube rapper. CJ so cool. He's a YouTube rapper. I don't know rapper. any of those people. But y'all, before we fin- before we go into overtime. Overtime. Yeah. Well, you said you had to keep on twenty minutes. Yeah. So yeah, hasta la vista. Pasta la vista. I don't know what I just said. Podcast la quista. I don't know. I was trying to make it run out of my phone. <laughs> okay, guys, don't forget to smack a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Um, Get us to 100 subscribers so y'all can win a gift card. I forgot about that. 
We're only at 54. That is so jank, bro. How do we lose 30 subscribers? You know, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. See y'all next time. Peace.